the EU is going to re-examine its fiscal policy. Do you think we've learned from the financial crisis and the EU's response to the pandemic? I mean, at least there are a lot of lessons uh, we should learn. And from our perspective as Greens in the European Parliament, we want to see a bigger reform of the fiscal policy and the fiscal rules um, at European level. Uh, first of all, the fiscal rules had been wrong reason for why the economic division in the last years in the EU um, had grown and um, this is at least a lesson we, we should learn that uh, uh, the rules are not working well because we still can see a high level of debt in a lot of countries but still a deeper social um, uh, and economic division and this is at least something we need to address and especially now with the recovery uh, um, after or let's say hopefully at the end of the corona crisis um, the division is even bigger than it had been before. And this is why I really think we need to ensure that we are getting an economic framework which works for all and actually which also takes into account that we are having some other challenges, like, for example, the climate crisis. You are, of course, a German Green MEP. And as we know from the recent elections, that there's most probably going to be a coalition government and that the Green Party will be part of that coalition. In the debate, uh, Olaf Scholz, even though he's an SPD uh, leader, Social Democrat, he, he gave the impression that he was very much a continuity candidate, a continuity candidate from the previous legacy of the government. So do you think there will be much change in the economic approach of, of a of a coalition that involves the Green Party? We need change and we need a different German position than our uh, current government has on those questions. And it's true, it's not easy uh, to, to go into the nego negotiations and uh, fighting for this because we know that we will have to negotiate with the current finance minister of Germany. But at least I think that now where uh, we all stopped our campaigns and where we are elected for addressing some of those challenges ahead, at least I guess we will get an honest talk about also the European fiscal policy, the situation in Europe and what we need to do. But as Greens, we will fight for a different fiscal policy and a new German position for this. And um, then let's hope that we will be successful and that the Social Democrats and the Liberals maybe are getting convinced, uh, convinced later in the negotiations. There are rumors that the, the, the Liberals will want an economic post within the new government as part of their agreement to be part of the coalition. Is that something that you and the Green Party would resist or is it more important to have the, the substance as part of the coalition rather than the actual positions within the administration? I mean, you can't change the climate policy, you can't change social policy, European affairs without having a strong role in um, the economic policy. So what we would like to go for is the same. We would also like to be responsible in the next German government for um, the economic policy. And yes, this is one of the key conflicts we will face um, with the Liberals which actually has a quite different position. I mean, with the Social Democrats, I mean, at the end, I guess we can agree on a lot. Scholz is a bit complicated there, but in the party, there is a lot of support for green policy. Um, but with the Liberals, they are opposing a lot of our ideas. And um, if you are interested in how the coalition talks are going in Germany and how successful uh, they could be, then you have to... Uh, to have a closer look on the economic uh, policy and the negotiations about this, because I think that there the conflicts or the differences are bigger than in other areas. One solution uh, that's been posited by the economy commissioner, Paolo Gentiloni, is to somehow set up a system for the EU in the future where green investment in the Green Deal would be somehow outside of 
spending considerations and uh, spending restrictions. Do you think this will be enough? It could be a good first step because I mean the the spending needs related to the climate goals, the transition to become climate neutral are enormous and uh, we, we are not prepared for this, not at European level, but especially not uh, the member states. Um, so this could at least be one solution out of many others where we could, could see some steps in the right direction. And uh, my hope is that uh, at least also the new German government uh, will at least be open about this because we know that we need to have like um, support from the member states and especially from some of the bigger and richer member states and maybe the climate spending rule um, could be something also to discuss uh, and convince uh, um, the debates in yeah, in countries like Germany, but also in Scandinavia or in the Netherlands, where we know that public opinion is a bit different than in France or in Italy. Today, you were speaking at a discussion on cross-party support for a new approach. This links a little into what you've already been saying about forming a coalition and uh, the approach to green funding. But do you think that will be possible? Do you think the climate has changed? Yes, I mean, in the European Parliament, um, we, for the first time in the history of the European Parliament, actually came up with a report which expressed support for changing the fiscal rules. I mean, it's not a green report, it's not a social democratic report, but it's a report where a majority in the Parliament said that we need to change uh, the fiscal rules and that we are in a new situation. And um, this is actually good news. And we also can see some new developments going on in the European Commission. You already mentioned um, the commissioner and some of the uh, statements he made. Um, so my feeling is at least that from the side of the parliament and the commission, there will be some pressure, there will be some new developments, and then we can um, try to push the member states uh, so that it will actually become law. Rasmus Anderson, MEP, thank you very much indeed. Thanks.